What's up everyone, Kyle here from Colossus Fitness. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do a barbell overhead press. Let's jump right into it. So first and foremost is actually just gonna be set up. So you're gonna to wanna to pick a squat rack to get set up for this movement. And I like to have the bar set up roughly how I would have it set up for a squat, maybe just a bit lower. And I like to think that the bar is gonna be in line with my armpits when it comes to the actual setup so you can get into a nice position to begin. And next up, you actually wanna figure out where to grab the bar. Now this will be different based off of your leverages, how long your arms are, how short your arms are. For me personally, I'm 5'8", and what I like to do is just start by going like this. So I'll get my thumb right up until the knurling, and then I'll just loop it around. For a lot of people, if you have longer arms, you might wanna go out to the outer circle here on the bar. Obviously, it depends on the bars, but the main thing is just going outside of shoulder width is the best approach and the best way to start it. So once I've got the bar on my chest, it comes to positioning my feet. So I like to have a shoulder width approach and then point out the toes about 15 degrees. You won't see it a ton. It's not a massive point out, but you're also not pointing them forwards. You just wanna turn them out slightly, just like that. From here, all you're really gonna do is focus on pushing the bar up towards the ceiling and driving your head forward. So what I mean by that is going all the way up, head comes forward, all the way down to the chest, okay? Once again, very simple movement that gets very often overcomplicated. You're gonna push up towards the ceiling and just repeat. And so within this, one of the biggest things to remember as you can see me doing on the screen here is just to keep a straight line through your entire body, especially at the end of the movement, all the way from your foot, right up through your body into the end positioning with the arms straight above your head with that barbell there. And you also wanna make sure that you bring that bar right down to your chest. You get a full dead stop all the way down and you're getting a full range of motion within this. But with that being said, there's a lot of common mistakes that take place with this. Now, before I jump into that, I just wanted to let you know if you are looking to get the results you deserve and keep them, we do have guaranteed results within our online coaching program. We have successfully transformed over 4,000 people, as you can see some of them on the screen here, and we would love to help you get the results you deserve, feel your best, lose body fat, and just really understand what you're doing in the gym. All you have to do is check out the first link down in the description. There's no strings attached. Give it a look to see what we're all about and take your time to fill out an application to work with the absolute best and get your guaranteed results. That's how much we believe in being able to help you now into the common mistakes. So although this is a compound movement, a lot of times people make this massive common mistake. There's nothing wrong with using a lot of weight for this movement. In fact, you should aim to progress within it. But what happens is a lot of people use weight that they're not comfortable with or that they can't comfortably handle at that time and they lean way too far back as you can see on the screen. What this is gonna do is it's just gonna put way too much pressure into your lower back. You may be able to lift the weight up, but at what cost? So you really wanna make sure that you're keeping your core tight, your glutes engaged. Yes, on the last rep, you may have to lean back slightly, but if you're always having to do it, I really recommend just decreasing that weight so you don't get injured doing this movement. And common mistake number two often comes from potentially the ego coming into play or us just wanting to use weight that we once again can't handle. And this is decreasing the range of motion just to be able to say you've lifted more. So a lot of times we decrease our range of motion in two ways. We don't bring the weight all the way down towards our chest, so we'll stop at a couple inches short. And then we also don't lock out all the way up because once again, it's a tougher movement. We're lifting more weights that we can't handle. And the best results come from doing a full range of motion for this movement. So pick a weight you can handle, bring it all the way to your chest, get a full lockout as you can see me on the screen doing, and that's gonna be tip number two. So common mistake number three has to do with two things. Starting off, your glutes aren't engaged, and that's a big common mistake because the glutes keep everything nice and tight within your body. It allows you to be in your strongest position possible. And when your glutes aren't engaged, you end up pushing the weight forward. So like I said, to end the movement, you wanna go all the way up to the top, and push the weight towards the ceiling. But when your glutes aren't engaged, you end up unfortunately just pushing it forward, which is just gonna mess up the movement and you're not doing it properly. You're not gonna be able to lift as heavy. You're not gonna be able to get a full range of motion, target the delts that you want to, uh, the way that you want to. And this is just a massive common mistake that I see, not as often as the other ones, but still quite often. One other very important thing to remember when doing this movement is you wanna make sure when you're pushing up, you're also pushing your head forward and then you're ending the movement by looking slightly down. So a common mistake, I guess a bonus common mistake here, is a lot of people just push up just like this, 
which actually isn't correct for the overhead press. For regular shoulder press with dumbbells, yes, that totally makes sense. But with the barbell, you wanna push up and as you're pushing up, you begin to look forward and this way you target all the muscle groups in the shoulder and that way you get the best benefit from this overall compound movement. I'm just gonna leave that there. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button, subscribe. And once again, if you wanna get the results you deserve on your fitness journey, fill out that first link. I promise you we will help you out. We'll get back to you as soon as possible and we will get you your guaranteed results or your money back and we can't wait to help you. Thank you for tuning in today.